Becoming Cuba takes place on the eve of the Spanish-American War. It's about family love, it's about loyalty, it's about sacrifice, it's a story about survival. Uh, they're all people who have to figure out, under these dire circumstances, how best to survive. There's a legend in my family about my great-grandmother, Mama Juana, who lived during um, the Cuban War of Independence. The Spanish were rounding up people to put them into camps so they could occupy all the land and she refused to go and she walked up into the mountains and um, so the story goes, met up with rebels and joined the rebellion. That story has always really interested me. What does it take for a person to just walk away from what they know? From her story, I got inspired by the time period and this interesting character that I created. Adela is grappling with this new idea of Cuba and all of the things that it is, all of the diversity that it encompasses. It's hard for me not to get emotional about it because, you know, my dad is from Matanzas, this province in Cuba that's not that far from Havana. His brother is a pharmacist, his father owned a pharmacy, his father had a pharmacy too, so it's just this long line of, <laughs> of owners of pharmacies and pharmacists. Being involved in the production has, has given me a chance to uh, really mine um, the family history, as my, as my father has retold it to me, there's been a lot of really strange synchronicities and strange little coincidences that's really been enlightening and something really special to me in the process of it. And it's also kind of drawn me closer to the history of my father's side of the family, which I really appreciate. This play can appeal to people on a very human side, from the family aspect, but then I think there's people that can be really be drawn to the drama of the history involved. And, it's a fascinating time in Cuba's history, which I knew absolutely nothing about. I don't think people will have to go home and Google anything to find out what the play was about. I think they might go home and go, wow, I need to know more about that part of our history. When they think of Cuba, they think of Castro. Um, so it's sort of lovely to see that it actually didn't start with Castro. I personally think it's a beautiful culture. I'm half Cuban, so I think you should learn about that part, portion of history. A Cuban girl who grew up in Boston to come home to do a Cuban play in Boston. It's sort of kismet for me. It's been wonderful to have uh, Juan Javier and, and Rebecca and Christina, really watching them bond as a family. They understand this play uh, on, on, on a very deep level, um, culturally, that, that is bringing sort of a level of specificity to it and a passion to, to the storytelling.